Hello there, it's Ellie from Ellie Scraps. Come today to share the Daisy Meadows paper pack and sticker sheet. There are coordinating enamel dots, which I will show you how gorgeous this is. I am going to do a single page layout for you using the scraps from my first paper pack left over from when I did the uh, a workshop. So they're the beautiful dots. You can see graduated sizes. There's five colors that coordinate beautifully with this packet. And we have a 12 by 12 inch sticky sheet, um, which is de has definitely got an Easter theme to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can buy this paper collection without the sticky sheet. So if you are not an Easter person or uh, have no photos that you think will go with Easter, you are more than welcome to just get the paper pack. So here we go. We have six sheets, two of each design. There are three designs. I love them. Oops, I've turned one up. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's better, isn't it? Um, I have used, no I haven't, there's the other one, and then the back of that one. So I have seen these Easter eggs made into balloons, so that makes it even more versatile. And this basket, bunny and basket, just screams spring and little girls and outdoors in the garden or whatever. Maybe you've got a pet bunny. There's so many things you can do with this. It's definitely not just Easter. So now that I've showed you those, oh, and exclusive zip strips on all of them as well. I love the zip strips. I'm going to be using uh, a couple of these in today's project. So I, as I said, I'm going to be doing an Easter page. This is definitely uh, an Easter page. We also have Picture My Life cards that coordinate. So some beautiful designs. I'm going to go through those in a little while because I need to pick one out. I'm also using the Flamingo Shimmer Trim. Um, the Flamingo Pink colour isn't a rec is not a recommended colour for this kit, but I think it tones in quite well with this. Um, it's a um, smoothie, um, which is definitely a little bit more towards the orange, uh, but it just it just absolutely absolutely goes beautifully. Um, I have gone ahead and pre-cut my pieces and I have got some stickers put aside ready to go and we're going to get started. So I'll show you what I have done and also where I got this pattern from. So this is where I have kept my volume three of Make It From Your Heart. This is a scrapbooking volume and those of you that have been to my classes in the past have definitely seen this book out and perhaps you've made a page out of this so um, I've marked at the top which ones I've uh, I've done oh, I haven't marked all of them and some of them have fallen off so um, yeah so there you go so there's some beautiful layouts now I'm going to use this layout here um, and we have slightly changed it just to ever so slightly and we're just doing a single page all right so there you go um the measurements are all in these books and you can see there are tons and tons of patterns in that thick book we now have volume five out which is um brand brand new into our online shop so um, and, and obviously some other ones are still there as well but we've got a brand new one with up to date colours and everything if you want to uh, make along with that now what I've chosen for my base page is actually a piece of patterned paper that was left over from the home sweet home kit it's the polka dots but it's in this lovely soft pewter grey colour um, little dots I'm going to use that so I've got this down what I might do is do it put down a tiny bit of tape just to hold it in place not quite not quite lined up but we'll get there there you go that's better and I have pre-cut these now I didn't stick to the exact pattern but this is 12 by 3 this one is 2 by 12 by 2 and this is also a 2 by 12 I have a zip strip, which is the, the colours are on the back always. So this is um, canary yellow. 
and I have used this zip strip which shows you quite a lot of the colors that are in this pack all right uh, that one measures I think six and just over six and a half but about six and a half is perfect all right we're going to start putting this together starting with uh, this one at the bottom I don't use a lot of adhesive I find this uh, Tombow refillable is extremely strong once it's uh, pressed down and held down now I'm just going to put this about three quarters of an inch from the bottom and then we're going to layer up and decide in which order I'm going to put these I think I'm going to go that way why not and leave maybe a half inch gap between roughly half an inch I can see I think my bottom one is slightly over the measurement I said but that's all right okay there we go sorry fiddling fiddling and then this one there we go quite straightforward isn't it um, now I'm going to put this one down first okay about three eighths of an inch up from the bottom of the peacock pattern paper let me see about there I'd like to put it like so and I'm going to pop my zip strip and leave a little gap because I'd like to run the shimmer trim slightly over that and um, I might just dovetail this little end just to finish off the little end could have just arrow, yeah, angled it but I think that's what I will do I'm not really putting that shape anywhere else but that's okay I think we can live with that I am all about getting my photos on my pages um, today we're not going to put the photos on the pages because I've actually uh, I don't know where I've put them I have been looking and looking and looking <laughs> um, but I will have to get them reprinted and I can guarantee as soon as I reprint them they'll turn up won't they it's always the way so I'm just going to see I'll just put that down a fraction closer and I don't mind if I overlap it onto the canary a little bit so I think that's what I will do now I am left handed and this is completely awkward to me but I'm going to start on this side so I can get it straight so this is the shimmer trim that is new to this two monthly idea book there are three colors available in the new uh, the current idea book i'll show you um we have grape lemonade and flamingo it is so pretty and i have the grape and the lemonade right here as well there you go give you a little idea how pretty are they they really do scream easter don't they uh, they're just pastel and spring i suppose just beautiful spring colors really really love that so we'll just put those up there okay i think that's good now i did go ahead and put adhesive on here to save us a little bit of time and i'm going to pop those around let's see about there oops a bit closer to the middle i am just eyeballing it you can certainly um get a more accurate measurement for if you yeah just to place them more accurately if you want with a ruler 
but that is perhaps where they're going. I have some of my sentiments and sorry, on some of my stickers onto some uh, wax paper, and I'm probably I can leave it there, but I sort of feel like I want to bring it down a fraction. No, I'm going to do it right there. So a little bit higher than I first thought. Hopefully I've got those down quite straight. Okay, it's been a very busy household uh, in this family the last couple of weeks. I've had um, my sick puppy who's um, been, to the, uh, he's been to the vet. He's okay. He picked up some sort of bug, tummy bug. I'm using wax paper. I did say that. So, yeah, so I've had him at the... Um, him at the vet, I've got uh, my father-in-law's passed away and my family is interstate and I am looking after all the, all the animals. So my husband went over a week or so back. So yeah, it's uh, been a bit crazy and then the kids all packed up and they all got on a plane this morning. So it's a bit lonely here at the moment. Um... A lot going on. Oh, my mum's also, um, she's in New South Wales. I'm in South Australia. We're 1,700 kilometres apart. That's also where my parents-in-law are, um, where my kids have gone. And um, so, yeah, my mum has just had um, breast surgery for cancer. So, yeah, it's a bit tough at the moment. So um, I am meant to be part of the international crop that we put on for our customers. Uh, so I'll probably post this video into the uh, international crop group um, for everybody. But um, I'm not participating this month. I'm not participating with um, all the tutorials I normally do, which is a bit sad. But uh, anyway... That is it. I just need to um, have a bit of relaxation time. That is overlapping lapping the photo a little bit. I think it will be okay. So that's that one. Um, so we've got happy up there. I am using the leftovers from the sticky sheet. So it's what basically I have left. My photos. I'll show you what the photos are of. I can do that much. Let me just get my iPad. And I'll show you... If I can wake up my iPad. Um, so the photos are of my youngest daughter who's now 19. This is in 2011. I'm sorry it's dark. But this is a... I can't find the photos. All I can find is the picture on my computer. Oh, other way. And she's making scrambled eggs. So after we do Easter egg hunt, we do breakfast. Um, we have bacon and eggs. So we have scrambled eggs. Oh, there's another photo. That's my son, uh, my grandson. Um, so, yep, yeah, so that's the photos. Um, I'll choose two of these photos to go on that page, the best two, um, on here. So she's got her bunny ears on. So I've pulled some stickers out and I'm going to start a bit of a collage here. And I had a bit of a play with them earlier. So this is what roughly I came up with. So I think um, now I know this is going to be... So what I'm going to do is... Oh, this wax paper is not supposed to be sticking. That is frustrating. They weren't sticking and obviously they've had time to stick. <laughs> okay, not to worry. Um... I haven't been sitting there that long. So that is not going to work. Now my wax paper is stuck on them. <laughs> I might have to work out some other glue to stick these down now because that they've only been like that for about an hour, would you believe? So uh, I see other people use wax paper. And it doesn't seem to stick to their stickers. So interesting. 
and I have used the wax side so there you go girls um, maybe it's the American wax paper is different to ours maybe in Australia our paper isn't waxy enough so this is really annoying so see how bad that is now not to worry I'll just get off as much as I can I'm going to use the green um, Tombow glue um, to stick this down same with these little this little bunch of eggs I will not be using this technique again so there you go girls I thought um, I thought this was a really great idea but obviously it is not so if you are in America I'd love to or Canada I'd love to hear whether your wax paper is more waxy and whether it works so definitely don't put it on the back of something really important <laughs> maybe just do a little test area maybe on the waste uh, the piece that comes off that we actually waste and well you know what I mean the, the actual the negative side not the actual sticker part okay so I'm going to put that about there I am going to put my bunny down. I'm going to tuck some things behind the bunny, including um, the bunny is going to sit over my photo. So I'm just going to dust any sticky from the sticker off with my my powder pillow, anti-static pouch. And I'm going to move that there. I'm going to... Anchor down my flower here and I'm going to use foam tape on this one. This one is going to be, this little bunch of Easter eggs will be at the front. Okay. So, little Easter eggs are there. Yep. Now I have some foliage and I have some leaves. And I'm going to tuck these behind. So I'm just going to play with those. Play with that placement. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, Close to My Heart has a new catalogue coming out at the end of the month. So at the beginning of, um, sorry, not at the beginning, not at the end of this month, um, beginning of May. As a consultant, we get uh, to get to see it early, of course. So um, I'm excited to see the next catalogue and play with some new papers. Um, so that might be something I will uh, do over the weekend. Okay, sorry, take two. <laughs> um, sorry about that. I had to stop, well, I had to pause the video and uh, accidentally stopped it because my dog was beating down the door. So I accidentally stopped it, so I've just had to start a new video. I'm not sure if I'm going to work out how to link these together, so um, we'll see. So um, as you can see, I've gone ahead uh, and put a few of the embellishments down. Um, if I can't link these videos together, um, yeah, it's I'm using a pattern from the Make It From Your Heart Volume 3 pattern book. It, uh, number uh, sorry it's on page so sorry it's pattern three I'm doing one page and it's page 10 um, page 10 of the book and I'm doing like you can do the left or the right hand side and um, they're both quite similar um, so I've got this much down I'm just embellishing it I did need to choose a picture my life card I will show you these now I don't think I've been through these. Uh, well, I know I haven't been through them today with you. 
I'm not sure if I did share these. No, I haven't shared these on a previous video. So there you are. So there's usually a vertical and horizontal design on each card. Okay, that's the six by four cards. And then on the back you have the reverse design. So they are absolutely gorgeous and they coordinate beautifully with this paper pack. Um, absolutely beautiful. So some of them have a different colorway. Some can be used vertical or horizontal. Some of them can be journaling boxes, decorative mats. I've talked about this in my videos before, just how incredibly versatile. You can use them, them for titles on your page, uh, mats for cards. You could use them for card fronts. Just a card already done. Just put a little bit of bling with it and you're done. So in this packet, um, we've got these 3x4s and these pretty designs to coordinate. Oh, it's so sweet. So I'm just looking for a, um, basically a journaling box to go in this spot here. So I'll have to go, oops, I haven't turned them over, have I? Did I turn them over? This way. I do like, that's, I don't need um, blue, but I do like that one. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? How cute. So I'm going to not make my own journaling box today. I'm going to actually use a Picture My Life card. Now we have a special going at the moment, which is Pocket pocket card perfection um it's for the two two paper packs that are in the um core catalog they've brought out matching beautiful matching um picked my life cards for those so there is a special it is on my website and it's you can buy them separately or they're bundled so uh, if you're watching this and you're in the uh, international crop group, do speak to your consultant. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, follow my directions below for my online shop. So I like that there. So that is where I, where mine's going to go. I'm going to tack it down just for now because um, I'd like to probably pop that up on some 3D foam tape, but not until I've done my journaling. Okay, so now I've got some little um, other little stickers. I'm just going to move these around and uh, work out where I'm going to put those. And what else have we got? We've got these. I had a problem with the um, wax paper, which I thought was a great idea. And, um, yep, that didn't work out so well because our wax paper decided to stick, didn't it? I think it's, yes, it must be the Australian wax paper that's too waxy. Okay, so I've put some anti-static pouch on there to take the sticky off. And I'm just going to have this one overlapping onto the photo a little. And then I've got some little tiny splotches star type things and like little yeah like little stars so i'm gonna put a little little pink one got a blue one blue green this is peacock some of the wax paper is coming off quite easily and some is not so pop that one there, little, a lighter pink, this would be the smoothie, oh no, this is the actual peachy colour, uh, let me see, don't like that positioning there, there we go, right, one on there so that it shows up with a darker background all 
Right, we have this corner to decorate. I've got a little bow, which I don't like there. This little bunny's already got a little flower on there, so I'm going to I'm going to actually put it up the top here. There we go. Now sifting through what I have left. I've got one little blue. I'm going to pop that one there, I reckon. And then some other little stars and little blossoms. That one out there. So just now finishing off with these little stickers. Um, I do have the, the enamel or the dots. I think they're acrylic dots but um, I have those there but I don't know that we really need any more of those or any more embellishments because of all these little um, lovely little stars etc so I might just finish it off with um, just these and I have another paper pack so I can definitely use them with that and those colors oh my goodness they are such beautiful colors We'll be able, I'll be able to use those in many projects. So I've got those ones there, those ones there. I think we'll come down here and start adding a few up in this corner. Some of these have definitely got the sticky on them, so it's fantastic. I'll just pop that one up there. Again, trying to make a bit of a a bit of a triangle look with them. And one, two, three, one, two, three. And there are a couple left, so I will just group them around, around here. So, thank you for popping by this beautiful Daisy Meadows papers. Uh, and collection there are scrapbooking collections there are card making kits in our current brochure or, or idea book and they are available until the end of april or if they or until they're sold out but prior to that um so there we go the only thing i haven't used um that's left from this sticker sheet now is a one little little title that says on the hunt so I will find somewhere to put this on another Easter egg hunt for for previous or future years probably not future years unless it's with my grandchildren <laughs> but there you go thank you for watching um, I'll find somewhere for that another time and I hope you've enjoyed that process of putting that page together. Uh, it is a really fun and quick and easy page to make. And now I have to just locate those missing photos that I talked about earlier um, to finish that off and a little bit of journaling. And it's ready for an album. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye.